Hello, welcome back to the CPR for the Body channel, and I am welcoming all my old and new revivors. If you are a new reviver and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? You know it costs nothing to make sure that you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button, and also click that bell because that will notify you when I load up new videos. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make oatmeal on the stove. I had a cream of wheat video. I love cream of wheat. I love grits. I love oatmeal and all those things. That video skyrocketed through the roof and I had a request years ago and I kept saying I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it and I've been putting it off but in this time and the way things are going it is on my heart to share nice savory meals sometimes we can't have milk or we don't have milk and we want to still make a meal we got college students and people who just like eating things like this and remember how grandma used to make it or mama used to make it and they never knew how to make some thick good creamy oatmeal so I'm gonna be making that with you today and optional are these three things here I have pecans, I have banana, and I have a little bit of salt. I like to throw a little bit of salt in there to uh, set off the balance of the sugar. I have brown sugar here. I have almond milk, which is the vanilla flavor from Aldi's. I also have a half a cup of the oats from Aldi's, which comes in a huge container, and I'm down to like not much of it, so it's only in a glass container. I can't show you, but if I can remember, I'll probably have that in my thumbnail to show you what the actual oats that I'm cooking look like. Now, I also have some salted butter real butter and then I have some cinnamon here and then this is um, a, a Cylon cinnamon this is kind of expensive cinnamon but you can use any cinnamon that you choose in this one here excuse me guys I'm stuffy and I don't feel good but because I've been putting this off and I wanted some I said let me do the video as I make it I have some um, pure vanilla extract and that's from Walmart and then I have my brown sugar and then I have my pot so let's just get started guys first thing you want to do is cut your stove on a medium um, if you have numbers I would say put it like at between four and five put your pot on and then you just pour your milk you don't have to use milk but milk makes it so much more creamier it makes it so much more creamier guys so that's why I love milk when I do my cream of wheat and um, my oatmeal I love to use milk it's just a creamier texture and it is so bomb so right here because the milk is going to coat all of the oats is where I put all my other flavors in like my vanilla my cinnamon and my sugar so I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of vanilla and then cinnamon and water put a good probably quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in there and then I'm going to add my butter and this is the part I love my butter so that's about a good I would say it's not fully a tablespoon but almost these things can be added and subtracted or however you want to do it um, for your taste preference but I'm just showing you the way I make it and everyone I make this for loves it so I'm going to put about I'm actually going to use the measuring spoon just so I know exactly how much I'm putting in. So I'm going to put about a nice tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. And I'm going to let that all get good and mixed up inside of this milk, right? It is thickening up. This milk actually makes things so much more thicker. So you're going to let that go. And I want the butter to melt and all of that to melt so that way when I put my oats in there, it is not going to um, have any lack of flavor on any of the oats. So I'll be right back. Hold on. Now we just have little teeny bits of butter. But once everything is melted, this is where I take and add a couple dashes of salt. About that much into there. And you see all of my stuff is nicely mixed in the milk. And here is where I'm going to add my oatmeal. And I'm going to mix that. Now it might look like it's not enough oatmeal, but it's going to thicken. Those oatmeals are going to swell and they're going to make this whole concoction much thicker. So you want to just allow it to continue to boil and do its thing. And basically you have oatmeal, but let's let that boil. And then we'll be right back once we see it thicken up, okay? Well, let me actually show you guys. See it starting to bubble? Once it starts to do that, 
trust me, it doesn't take much long, much longer for this to actually um, start to thicken up. It looks watery right now, but trust me, it is going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. All right, so let that thicken up and we'll be right back. So while that is doing its thing, I'm going to get my bowl ready and put all my stuff away and um, cut my bananas up for my oatmeal. And I was talking to my daughter. I just wanted to share this with you. And she's in high school. She was like, Mom, seriously, like a lot of people don't know how to make certain things. And when I tell them that I make oatmeal in the morning and different stuff like that, they think I'm making it from a packet. And I'm like, really? She was like, yeah, so you should share that. And I said, it's crazy because I definitely had requests for it, but I just never thought, you know, to hurry up and get it done. So when she said that, I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my video for my oatmeal. And I love to put pecans in it because it gives it like a nice crunch with the creamy oatmeal. So yeah, I'm only going to use a half a banana for my oatmeal. And see, it's getting thick over there. You see it? It is thickening up. Oatmeal is similar to rice and cream of, cream of wheat and all that good stuff. It will thicken up to a consistency that you need it to be and you want way more liquid than you want of the actual like rice and cream or wheat it's like you don't need that much um of it for it to expand and make the desired amount so i'm gonna let that continue to boil and see it's getting thick see how thick it's getting continue to boil and it's now on five i got my eye on five and also, I'm going to be sharing some videos on how to cook if you don't have a hot plate and you don't have a stove. If you really want to see that, comment below and leave a thumbs up. I'm going to show you how to still fry, be able to fry eggs or make um, things that you need a stove for using tea lights. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know as well because I know that's something that can also help people who are on a budget or might fall on desperate times in their lives where they don't have lights or they don't have gas and stuff to cook a meal. So... Let me know if you're interested in that. All right, so let's get over to this bowl. I want some in every bite. Every bite. So I'm just going to leave those right there. Because they're going to go right on top of my oatmeal with my pecans. Alright guys, do y'all see that? Now, when you see the thickness that you desire with your oatmeal, you just take it off of the stove. It is going to get it even thicker. So I'm cutting this off. Why? Because once the air hits this, it's going to get even thicker. I like my oatmeal thick. So if you see a consistency that's close to what you like, cut the stove off. Because it's going to get thicker in your bowl. So this is what we have right here. And it was something I was getting ready to say to you guys in regards to this oatmeal. Do, 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 do. Hold on, let me let me get my brain right. Oh well, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I do not feel good, but I wanted my oatmeal so bad. So here is our oatmeal. Just make sure, like I said, that you take it off of the stove when you see it is at a consistency that is close to what you desire oh that's what i was gonna say if you want maple brown sugar you can use instead of using vanilla you can actually use maple flavoring or you can actually use maple syrup as a um flavoring for your actual um oatmeal so this is my oatmeal and guys oh my gosh if y'all only knew this is so freaking tasty and amazing. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. Make sure you share this video. And if you have any requests on how to make any things, I'm talking from boiling eggs to making cheese eggs to just simple things. Everyone does not know how to cook. And everyone wasn't taught how to cook. And sometimes you have to start from the basics. And I am here to help you. So, in the comments below, if there's something you struggle with in the kitchen that you really want to learn, let me know below and I'll do my best to help you get it mastered. All right, so enjoy your oatmeal and I'll see you guys in another video. Later, Gators. I'd like to come back and share the fact that, oh my gosh, this stuff is so freaking amazing. 
the bananas do not turn brown. I don't know what it is, but they do not turn brown. And this stuff is so creamy and tasty. If you make this, please let me know how it came out. I guarantee if you're an oatmeal lover, you're going to love this. And you can do so many things with this. You can put peaches in it, strawberries, blueberries, lots of things. And different flavors. And I like this better than the one that's pre-made with all those fake fruits and stuff in it. This is all you. You know exactly what's going into your oatmeal. Nothing processed or nothing bad. Only what you put in it. Alright guys, let me finish enjoying this. This is where I am on social media. Be sure to check me out, but also go check out my other channel, The CPR Vibe. The link is in the description box where we talk about all things reviving our lives. There are many playlists and how-tos on this channel that can help you save your coins. You can also see my renovation journey. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you are alerted of all the new videos. Later, Gators.